Welcome to this video where I'm going to introduce you to a great web app for doing animation called Animatron Studio. So to get started we need to go into our Chrome web browser, it works best in Chrome. So here I am in Google and I'll just type Animatron Studio, enter, and I should get a link that says Studio Animatron. So I'm going to click on that and it opens up the Animatron Studio web app. In your top uh, right corner you should see log in and sign up and start creating. Press sign up and then just click on the Google icon to use your Google account to sign in with. So once you've signed up you should come to a project screen. I've got a couple of starter projects in mine um, and I want you though to just go to start creating. So when your new uh, project opens up you'll be immediately brought into what we call light mode which is a cut down version of animatron um, which just makes it easy to get started doing some very basic animations. Um, we're actually going to push things a bit further and we're going to be using expert mode. So I want you to click on expert mode up here and you should see that the color scheme changes and you get some more controls available to you. Now let's just have a quick overview of the interface. So this big white square in the middle is your screen. That's where your animation is taking place. That's the canvas upon which you will make your animation. On the right hand side you might have you'll have a, a scene and you can have multiple scenes in your animation. You'll also have down uh, the bottom here this area is what we call the timeline and as we add objects into um, each scene then we'll be able to control how those objects appear and move within the scene. On the left hand side is our tools area and uh, there are several different tools. This is Marketplace tool where you can just get uh, some pre-built assets that you can add in. Uh, but also there are things like line drawing tools and shape drawing tools and so on that we can use to make our own objects. So we're going to get started. I'm just going to show you how to draw a basic shape. We're going to draw um, a house and I'm going to show you some um, of the essential getting started kind of techniques in that process. So the first thing you really do need to know is that it's really important to use the design mode when you're creating and changing the design of objects, not animation mode. So make sure you click on design and you'll notice that all of the controls go blue uh, and that's to tell you you're in design mode. So uh, we're going to make a simple house. Um, I'm going to click first of all on my shape tool where I've got a circle. I'm going to click and hold the mouse button down and then just um, let go over the rectangle. I'm going to change the fill color to something a bit like a brick. Um, so yeah, that'll do, make it a bit light. And I'm going to click and drag and draw uh, the basic of my house. Okay, so I've got a nice brown kind of uh, house. And I'm going to put a roof on this, so I'm going to go back to my um, shapes tool. I'm going to grab the star tool, which sounds a bit odd, but I'm going to change the um, under options where it says vertices. I'm going to change it to three, which gives me actually a triangle. So I can click and drag, and that's the roof of my house. And to make it just stand out a little bit, I'm going to change its color slightly. So I'm going to click on fill again, and I'm just going to make it a bit darker. Okay, so you can now see that I've got the main part of the house, and I've got the roof of the house. Now, um, when I added those shapes to my scene, they got added to my timeline. So I've got shape one, which is the main part of the house, and I've got the star one, which is actually the roof. Uh, and I'm going to double click on these and rename them. So I'm going to double click on star one and call it roof and I'm just going to click on uh, shape one and call it house. So I've got my house and my roof. Uh, now I'd like to add a door and window to this house so I'm going to go back to my shape tools, back to my rectangles and for the windows I'm just going to do uh, a white squares so I'm going to just put one up here and I'm going to duplicate this, so I'm going to click on, there's a button, uh, there's four buttons uh, at the top of our object selector and the second one in is a duplicate tool. So I'm just going to click on that and it gives me 
um, another one of these shapes so I can just drag it across and now I've got two and I'm gonna um, have some downstairs windows as well so I'm gonna duplicate again I'm gonna place one underneath it and I'm gonna put a little front door in here as well so I'm just gonna go back to my uh, rectangle tool drag a door and I'm gonna make the door a different color let's give this house maybe a nice uh, blue front door okay so that's the basic of my house I just need to quickly rename these different parts so having drawn the different parts of my house I just want to show you just a few of the other tools we've got um, this one here this uh, one that just looks like a normal arrow is our sort of selection tool and I can click on any of the objects when I'm using that selection tool and I can see some of its properties and this is really useful if you need to make maybe a few tweaks and changes so for example let's make to make sure that this window was completely perfectly lined up with that window I might want to make sure that their Y values are exactly the same so here where it says position uh, and Y maybe if I make that 190 or maybe a bit less 185 perhaps and if I click on the next window along and I make that Y position 185 as well then they're definitely going to be in line with each other Right, I've got all the different parts of my house. What I want to do now is I want to combine them together because if I were now to click on any one of them, uh, move that part, it's, you know, I've left all the other parts behind and that's not particularly helpful. So I'm going to undo that by using Control Z and I'm going to group them all together. So to group, I can just click anywhere on my scene, click and drag, and I drag a box, a bounding box, around all of my objects and that selects them all together. And now, in my um, object selection area, you'll see that they're all selected. And I can right click on any one of them, and I can do something called Convert to Movie Clip. And that creates um, a single object in my timeline, which I can double click and name it as House. Um, and that's something that, but if I wanted to, I can still always go into edit this by just hovering over the little picture of the house and it turns to a sort of pencil and I can click on that and I can go in and I can individually now select and edit any part of the house I want to. To get back to my main scene, I have to go up here where we, what we've got, uh, what we call a breadcrumb and I'm gonna click back on scene one and it navigates me back to my main scene. So I've got my house and I've got an object called house in my timeline. And let's just do a little bit of animation. So to do that, I'm going to move the animation to um, maybe a starting point. And I'm then going to uh, change from design mode to animation mode. So I click on animation mode and everything will go orange. And then I'm gonna use this uh, timeline select tool. This is like my playhead. This tells me whereabouts in my animation I currently am. So I'm currently at 0.0, .0 seconds in my animation. So I'm at the very start of my animation. If I drag this to maybe two seconds in and then move the house, say over here, then what Animatron will do is it, it draws this sort of dotted line and that shows the path that I've moved the house along. And Animatron will actually fill in the missing pieces for me. So if I, if I now scrub that backwards, then you'll see how it automatically fills in the movement. And if I press play, I can see that animation taking place. And let's restart that and see it again. So I've now got an object that I've created, um, I've combined it all together, and I've animated it across my screen. So that's pretty good going. It's just one or two other things I want to show you before you get going um, with the animatron tutorials themselves. Just a few things I found really helpful. Um, and these are really to do with moving your way around the canvas. So quite often you'll want to zoom in. And really helpfully, if you just press the Z key on your keyboard, then animatron will start zooming and it will zoom to wherever your mouse is. So as you move your mouse, if, wherever you place the mouse and then press Z, it will start moving, uh, zooming in. And if you zoom in too far, you can just press the X key and hold it down and you'll zoom out. Okay, so that just makes it really easy and quick to move around your scene. Uh, if you're zoomed in enough but you want to move within the scene, just hold down the space bar and then 
the mouse cursor becomes uh, a hand and then just click and drag and you can drag around uh, your scene without actually moving any objects. So they're just a few useful things. Z to zoom in, X to zoom out, space to grab and move around. So the very, very last thing I want to show you before you go on to doing the first animatron tutorial, which is about how to draw a growing flower shape, is just how to get started with that. And I want to show you that because the tutorial uh, that you're going to go on to do actually starts with the flower kind of already there, um, which isn't very helpful because you might not know how to draw it. So let's just delete our house by going back to design and just clicking on that house and pressing the backspace key to delete it. And let's get ourselves, we're still in design mode, let's get ourselves that starting point of the flower. So to do that, I want you to go to um, the oval, uh, the shape tool and hold down so you've got an oval and get the fill color to be a sort of brown. And you're just gonna draw a little circle. Okay, that's the center of your flower. And then I want you to go to the uh, brush tool and make sure you've got green and a thickness of 10 would be a good thickness and just draw um, a sort of stem. Now what you'll notice is that the um, flower center uh, is behind the stem and really it needs to be in front so what you can do down in your uh, shape selector down here on the left is just click on the brush one shape, click and drag it and drop it underneath shape one and that means it goes behind it. Give these a name by double clicking and calling them stem and shape one we're gonna call center. And if you hold down shift and select stem so they're both now selected, you can press the combine layers button to kind of join those into one object and that becomes called layer one and that's the starting point from which the uh, animatron tutorial on animating a growing flower um, begins at so it's a really good place for us to finish and for you to move on to that tutorial